Well guys, we we're getting a storm. And right over there, that's not fog, that's smoke. So I'm gonna go ahead and jump in the truck. So I'm not hearing any sirens. And we had some, it's a quick little storm for here, but definitely something. Ooh, got dark in here to go investigate the neighbors. So we're gonna see. Yeah, I'm really hoping that this ain't anything too serious, but that's on the other side. And that's really close to my home, so there's anything bad going on and we can do anything like I said I haven't heard any sirens and we've got a really good volunteer fire department response around here in this area so hopefully it's just someone decided hey it's gonna rain I'm gonna burn but that smoke wasn't there when the storm started burning brush okay but it was right back over there I've seen a little bit of it I couldn't see it from the other way but the angle I had at first so okay well excitement I'll probably never make to a video but if it does I was ready to do something I don't know but I didn't need the ridge being on fire, so. All right, we'll see y'all. Well, welcome back to the ridge. And well, it's been rainy and wet and nasty. And well, we found a dilemma, guys. So I'm here in the bathroom, as you can see. Well, what we've noticed is down here, between where the vanity ends and the toilet or composting toilet we've had water uh, and then the one day as you guys know we got Charlie the cat who thinks he's a dog and his best toys are little three inch paint rollers and we couldn't find them for the longest time uh, I looked up underneath the vanity and lo and behold they were underneath there pulled them out they were sopping wet so yeah something is not right in that general vicinity but what it's caused is water to kind of come down and go and get some of the trim so what i'm going to do today as much as i don't want to because well we don't really build things to come apart very easy is i've got to yank this vanity out get it drained get it out of the way and then figure out is it leaking in the wall mama says that when she comes in the morning before the rest of us are really awake and it's super quiet that she can hear water running so it's either a line going to the washing machine or a line over here i don't know um this wall shares the other side of this wall is where the washer and dryer are so the drains all that kind of stuff are all right there so i'm probably gonna have to cut some drywall out behind the vanity figure out what where where it's leaking what's leaking i thought maybe because the laundry room which is on the other side of the wall i don't have the metal on and the little, but it never seems to dry. And now that we've got a pool of water underneath there, yeah, it's a little more serious. So I got a couple more things to move here and then it's gonna be tear this out time. But first things first, I gotta drain the water. Mama don't need water. So 
we're gonna get down in here and cut that that's my main supply coming in so that's off and I'm gonna there we go I'm gonna turn that hot water turn those off so that that doesn't drain out and then oh. well that's a thing okay I might have to go to plan whatever it's gonna be and whew, that light actually helped it was blinding me but helped you guys I may need to move the toilet out which I should probably do anyways and use the drain there but let me double check a couple things okay got the toilet out of here because I shut everything off it's not draining so I want to see because if not I'm going to make a bigger mess over there That's open and yeah, that area back there is a lot wetter. Charles, go. Definitely, Charlie, remind you of that whole saying, curiosity killed the cat. Well, you know why. All right. That one wants to be difficult. Let me go find a ring. at that point that would be obvious oh <laughs> drain let's grab a towel well we know that one's done so Now we should be able to get it out of here. We put this trim on after we put the sink in, huh? Okay, so fun part was we put this trim on after the sink and so this is notched out. So I'm gonna see if I can hopefully pull it off here. kind of worried about those connections let me bring you in yeah it's been leaking for a hot minute but definitely looks like 
this one that had a little drip but I may have to get in here and get these connections tighter but I'm gonna have to cut this out this stuff is wet and then of course it's nasty down there guys but it's been leaking but then that trim is all wet because this comes out and goes down so I may even have to pull part of this flooring up and let it dry fun stuff okay guys well I'm pretty sure I mean obviously you can see water lines hopefully you can see but there is there's water damage clearly I think what it is is this one wasn't tight and sealed so I'm gonna need to be able to pull these out re-thread tape them put them back in but in the meantime this stuff's all been exposed to water now I don't remember if this was green but I don't think this was the moisture resistant stuff so I'm gonna just do a line to where the vanity is gonna ride anyways and cut this out because I need to double check well, that was random um I need to double check and see make sure it's not a fitting inside the wall but I can see where this stripped down so I think what it is is I just didn't get these in tight enough but I'm just now noticing I bet if I got a big allen key and I look inside these because I'm like how do I tighten these there's a spot for a huge allen key inside I've put a bunch of these in never knew that of course I'm normally not at this angle so as much as I hate to do it here we go guys Yes, I'm doing it by hand because I know I've got pipes and electrical I think runs above it but I didn't remember 100% so this way I don't cut things that I shouldn't all this exposed to let it properly dry <sighs> oh yeah that was getting moisture Check this out guys, check this out, 10 millimeter, and I, I don't think you can see up in there, but up inside there is a spot for an Allen wrench. Look at that. Wow. I don't know if y'all knew about that, but I didn't, and I actually had a struggle with our shower up north of keeping a connection tight so I'll have to get this dried up and then what I'm gonna do is just put the faucets back on right and test it out before I put any of this back together I had plugs on here well the plugs were inside so I never got to really test it coming out but it doesn't look like any of my fittings but I'm gonna pressure test those too so all right, I need to get some of this trim off of down here. And I think I'm gonna pull the linoleum back a little bit, so. I mean, the good thing is, up to this point, it'll be hidden by the vanity. 
And over there will be really hidden by a toilet, but I think I'm going to have to cut the bottom piece of this off because that stuff's pretty bad, guys. And uh, we wouldn't be doing ourselves any justice whatsoever. That corner's mush. So we wouldn't do ourselves any justice to just trying to forget we've seen it and look away. I'm going to have to just do it the right way. Not that I want to. Alright, let me clean this up a little bit. Yeah, it's really not good, guys. Uh, that is like standing water all underneath this part. So, I'm going to have to get some help, get this vanity out of here. And pull this linoleum back. I don't know if I can just kind of pin it up and let it dry i'm gonna have to see how far back it goes but for as far back as i am right now this stuff soaked not good <sighs> yeah okay well i guess i'll come back when i got a solution that uh, that's a lot of water guys this thing's been leaking probably since I installed it all right well time to get at it 